Vidya, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, Commonwealth Literature, Unit 5, Short Stories. First story, A Scarf by Carol Shields. Uh, Carol Shields, he was an American born Canadian author, born in the 1935 and died in 2003. His famous novel, Stone Diaries, and for that uh, he got U.S. Pulitzer Prize for Fiction and Governor General Award in Canada. He appointed officer of the Order of the Canada and also he is a fellow member of the Royal Society of Canada. Protagonist of the story, Mrs. Rita Winters and his, uh, her, wife, her uh, husband name is Mr. Tom. Nora, Nancy and Chorus, these are all the uh, daughters of Rita and she is a writer and uh, one of her uh, friend name is uh, Kindalin uh, who is the uh, who is this lady means dream collector of journal uh, she because of her writings uh, she received an offer a trip uh, a trip for three places new york washington baltimore uh, she visited those three places and uh, there she uh, she bought one scarf for her sister uh, for her daughter nora whether she got that uh, scarf uh, she bring that uh, scarf to her uh, uh, home or not so that is a, a twist of the story actually what we are expecting the same thing it is going to happen uh, so it will be a question mark so destiny will decide everything so what is going to happen next this is the theme of the story scarf Next story, Killing Time by Nasibu Muvanku. Uh, his full name, Ras Nas Aha Nasibu Muvanku. He is an African musician and uh, in the place of Moraho, which is in Tanzania. He is a multi skilled man as a singer, songwriter, poet, guitarist, paint, and producer. And he started to write African poetry at the age of 17 itself. Nasibu, who is a co-founder a powerful uh, poetry and drama group that is named as Sairi in Dar A.S. Salam in the year 1982. And uh, so Nasibu did a variety of uh, music concerts especially for the persons uh, Emperor Haile uh, Selassie 1 and uh, Nelson Mandela 2. So uh, in that uh, only very few characters you can have. Young narrator, we don't have the name of the person. Uh, who is the narrator of the story, a strange man, who is an imaginary character of the young narrator, a beard man, who is a, a, a sit in a cafe, alcoholic cafe, background setting, the whole story is going to move in the place of alcoholic cafe, it is a westernized setting cafe, in that uh, uh, cafe it is filled with uh, full of drunk yards, noise and smoke, like a must, uh, the background setting is there, and uh, so called jazz three kinds of jazz music repeatedly they are playing in that time young narrator who can strangely look out what is happening in the cafe during that time there is an imaginary character who can appear in front of him he thought that person is a real man but actually that is not real and in the end of the play itself uh, he came to that realization and uh, funnily comically uh, how he wind up the story the whole story it, it just moving within a uh, room itself so how he narrated that in a beautiful manner so this is the story of uh, 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 killing time and uh, the narrator uh, he thought that uh, someone is killing their time in the alcoholic room but actually here the young narrator who kills his time because imaginarily he created the character of strange man. And here Nasibu who used the magical realism with the post-modern technique uh, uh, in the story. Thank you.